Do you know somewhere none of us want to visit? Your local federal penitentiary, right? No one wants to go to jail. No one wants to be a prisoner because that word prisoner has such a negative connotation. It means that you're being forced against your will, being held captive by someone, and you don't have freedom to release yourself or to leave anytime you want to. You're stuck. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Shauna. Shauna's been in jail. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm Shauna. Just that one time. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my husband, Pete, and we're Golly Family Discipleship. We are both ordained ministers with the Church of God, and we um, find that it is best to disciple our family by reading the scripture every day. We take one chapter and read it every week and study that. Uh, daily. So we actually take to social media now and just say, hey, come study the Bible with us. We invite you into our home and into our life. And today we are starting a new chapter, chapter three of the book of uh, Ephesians. And um, I'm going to read that scripture and then we'll get started with a discussion. It says, for this cause, I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, <clears throat> for you Gentiles. Okay, so the Apostle Paul refers to himself as a prisoner of Jesus Christ, which is some weird terminology, right? Because the connotation of a prisoner is that someone is holding you against your will. But actually what the Apostle Paul is saying is that he has become a prisoner to his passion. He loves Jesus so much that he has nothing else to do but the will of the Lord, right? Whatever Jesus wants him to do. And, you know, you might think that that connotation is weird, but we see ourselves become prisoners to things in this world all the time mm -hmm. right well before we started shauna mentioned that you could be a prisoner to love Woo. <laughs> so um <clears throat> when a person is a prisoner and uh taken into uh chains or bondage uh, it is due to committing a crime the apostle paul was a prisoner uh because he was preaching to the gentiles that's exactly what he was called to do um he was in prison during this time but he was someone that had uh, confessed his sins to god and made jesus the lord of his life and therefore christ owned him he was a prisoner of uh, Jesus Christ. But that is the most free place to be uh, because it is Christ who sets us free from the curse of the law. And we no longer um, have to uh, face that judgment. Uh, so uh, the Apostle Paul was a prisoner to his passion. Right, and most of the time in our, in our day and time, being a prisoner to passion means that you're actually in bondage instead of freedom. Right, we know that individuals become uh, prisoners to drugs. Right, their passion is they have to have that high or that feeling that it gives them. People become uh, prisoners to their career. Right, they are driven and motivated by success or money or whatever it might be. And those types of passions bring about bondage. But like Shauna said, Paul's passion brought about freedom because it allowed him to walk in the fullness of who Christ wanted him to be. And he talks about he's a prisoner for uh, because of the Gentiles. He was freely doing um, uh, this purpose. He was uh, serving God out of his own free will because he wanted to. He desired to. And he was going to live out his purpose no matter what it took. And if that took being um, a, pris a prisoner in a physical change, then he would. But he was a prisoner who was... Uh, had linked himself to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. There was nothing that would overcome him, nothing that would conquer him, uh, nothing that would kill him. Uh, we see that uh, the Apostle Paul faced many things that did not destroy him. Uh, he shook a snake off, a poisonous snake off in the fire, and and um, he was shipwrecked, and so many things. It faced so many trials and tribulations, but... He was, um, he knew that God's grace was sufficient and that he would give him what he needed to, to fulfill the call on his life. So today we ask you, what is your passion, right? What is driving you right now in your life? Are you a slave what, to something? Yeah, are you a slave to something? And if you answer yes, hopefully your answer is Jesus Christ. That you are so passionate about Jesus Christ that you can't keep from doing what he wants you to do. Yeah. So remember, we believe that there's four things a disciple of Jesus Christ will do every day. Those four things are? You'll encounter God, exalt God, you'll edify yourself, 
with the reading of the word and you'll engage this world for Christ. Um, I just want to remind you, you know, e, uh, we, we say those four E's, but engaging the world for Christ can be encouraging one another, encouraging one another in, in the word, encouraging one another uh, with the love of God and, and sharing with uh, others what God has done for you and what God can do for you. And what you God's too. laid upon your heart. That's right. That's right. Sometimes someone just needs a word of encouragement. That's right. And God gives it to you. Be bold enough to share it with them. Absolutely. Um, I'm, and more than likely, they will not reject that. Encouragement's Amen. a wonderful thing. So until next time, may God richly bless you.